Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Fillion. I'm going to be taking you guys through my week 13 progress today. Things have been going well. I've been uh, ramping up some of the difficulty here, reducing calories. I've been increasing my cardio. And uh, all in all, things are good. I'm finally moving the scale in the direction I want it to be in. Um, so I haven't been doing a whole lot of cardio yet. And that's all about the change, probably starting next week or the week after that. Um, I've been really busy with hockey. I, for those of you that don't know, I, I do play hockey. So uh, I'm on two separate leagues, both of them ending this week. So I leave Thursday for Toronto, going to a hockey tournament. That's going to be exciting. And then as soon as I get back, the very next day, I have playoffs for my other hockey league. Um, kind of crazy, but in the next week, I'm going to be playing roughly 10 games of hockey. So it's going to be hockey, hockey, hockey. And then after that, I'm going to start diving into the more bodybuilding-focused cardio, which I haven't been doing because um, when you're playing hockey, you don't want to have your legs burnt out from long cardio sessions that you've had before. So I've been kind of putting those on hold. Uh, what I'll probably start with is a half hour a day on the elliptical, aiming for somewhere between 8 and 10 METs, and that's going to be a good way for me to get started. I'm going to eventually increase that to one hour a day, trying to ma try my best to maintain 8 to 10 METs. Uh, the reason I go so hard on the METs is because it's the one way that you can really uh, kind of track your progress on cardio. So um, basically what a MET is, is uh, I believe I got to go and look up the acronym. It's like metabolic equivalent of work or time. I forget what the T stands for. So basically in layman's term, how a MET works is it's going to be the ratio above your baseline energy expenditure. So just by existing, just by living, you're at a met of one. Like that would be sitting on the couch, laying in bed, things of that nature. So if you get up to two, that means that you're burning twice the energy you spend when you're doing nothing. So if I get up to eight to 10 mets, that's going to be eight to, eight to 10 times more energy burned than if I'm just laying in bed. So if you kind of think about it, if you're if you're burning calories around eight mets, if you did three hours of cardio, which I'm not saying I'm going to do, but if you did, you could burn an entire extra day's worth of calories in that three hour cardio session. Now this would be absolutely miserable and most people probably wouldn't be able to finish. But just to kind of give you guys an idea of how all that works. If I can do one hour of cardio at eight METs per day, I'm looking at probably close to seven to 800 calories because my basal right now is probably around uh, 19 to 2000 calories. So just we're looking at just shy of um, 100 calories per hour if I'm just sitting around existing. So if I go on there and I'm doing eight METs, I can get kind of close to about 100 calories per MET per hour. That's the way I look at it. Anyways, enough about that. I'm going to go run this way in. And then from there, I'm going to take you guys through my quarter turns. And we'll go into the office to break down my week's worth of steps my calories, and my weight for the week. So the weigh-in looks good. It's actually my all-time low, not by a whole lot. It's my all-time low by 0.2 of a pound. But this is nice. I'm finally seeing progress. I've busted through my plateau. If you've watched my previous episodes, 193.6. That was something I was having a hard time busting through. I'm now at 192.4. It's only a pound, but a pound is a pound, and I'll take it. From here on out, I'm going to start ramping up the cardio. I should be able to reliably lose between a pound and a half and two pounds of fat per week. The goal is, if I can do this properly, I'd like to be 180 by August 1st. If I can do that, then we are very much on track to compete in September. So that's the goal, and I'm going to take you guys through the quarter turns.
All right, so here we go. We're on week 13. I'm going to break things down. Um, we'll start with my steps. So really happy with my steps. Look at that. I'm hitting almost 10 miles every single day. Some of these that have lower um, steps is actually because I had hockey games that night. So on the nights that I didn't have hockey, you can see I'm regularly getting about 10 miles of walking per day. That's going to be really helpful. Um, doing that, you know, lose a little bit of weight. So yeah, walking like this is going to be really helpful. This is going to burn probably about a thousand calories a day, which is going to be pretty nice. Um, I am pretty soon going to have to start adding in some form of uh, higher intensity cardio, but as long as I can walk 10 miles a day, I, I think that's going to um, pay off uh, dividends down the road. Let's jump to weight. So weight is good. Um, it's still not moving as fast as I would like, but you know what? I finally broke through 193.6. You can see last week I had three days in a row where I was at 193.6, I could never get past it. It looks like this week, my new sticking point might be 192.4. Um, I'm gonna do whatever I can to keep pushing and keep going. Um, it can be really demoralizing when you stall out. You just have to trust the process, but sometimes you also do have to make adjustments. So if I'm looking over my week by week averages, um, you know, I'm finally moving a, a pound down from where I was. I need to get to 190 or 191 for me to really know what I'm doing is working. So that's going to be the goal for next week. And then July is going to be a nice month because both of my hockey leagues will be over. So I'll really be able to dedicate myself fully to cardio because when you're playing hockey, you don't want to be uh, blowing fumes the whole game. So for hockey games, I would have a little bit more carbs before the game started. That way, you know, I, I'm playing better. But when I'm on the elliptical doing cardio, I can be running on fumes. Doesn't really matter because I'm not competing against anybody. Makes it a lot easier to just grind out that really long, grueling cardio sessions, even if your performance is low. So calories. Calories, this is where it's going to start getting a little tricky. Um, I definitely want to show you guys what I'm doing, but I, I'm digging into a point where I might not be able to recommend what I'm doing to you guys anymore. Uh, mostly because what I'm doing is to get in as good a shape for a bodybuilding show as possible. Um, for a lot of people, this is just too much. It's not too much for me, but for most people it would be too much. Um, Sunday I had 2400 calories. Monday, I was down to 1,200. And then it kind of stayed in that 1,500 range throughout the week. So what I'm doing right now is I'm having strictly protein shakes until dinner time. So that means in the morning, I'll have two of those uh, prepackaged protein shakes. For lunch, I'll have two of them. And then for dinner, I'll have another, well, maybe not dinner, maybe like an afternoon snack, I have another two. Then towards the end of the day, around 8 p.m., I'll have one meal. And this meal isn't very big. As you can see from my calories, it's pretty small. I might have like two potatoes and some sardines. Um, I'm not even ha having the steaks right now. As much as I love eating steak, um, it is high in fat calories. And right now, I, I'm just trying to break through these plateaus. So um, until I accomplish that gotta do what you gotta do but I don't necessarily recommend everybody else follow this exact model but if you did this is how you lose crazy weight you want to have washboard abs if you want to have striations in your shoulders you got to get down to single digit body fat percentage and I hate to say it but once you get past 12 to 13 percent body fat you start getting into the territory where the only way to continue is to ramp up the intensity. And that means your diet is going to be perhaps a little bit of a system shock if it's not something you're used to. Um, but this is what I've been doing. The plan is after this hockey tournament, um, I'll even cut out the potatoes for a while. If I could lose two pounds a week doing what I'm doing, could be 180 by August. 
that would be the dream. Fingers crossed. The leaner I get by August, the more time I have to make adjustments before the show. Now, the last thing you want to do is cram your homework. So that's the plan with that. And uh, I think I'll leave this here for now. Uh, if you made it this far, leave a comment to say, hey, I, I like hearing about this stuff. Helps me know what kind of videos you guys like watching. And uh, yeah, from there, you know, take it easy. Have a good Sunday. I'll see you guys in the next one.